You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. This is my judgment. The plaintiff, Mr. Chika Ezeife, brought this action to court, claiming custody of a seven-year-old child belonging to the defendant and his wife. In this case, several witnesses were called and documents tendered as experts, including a DNA test result. This is a spectacular and special case with several angles and hands like that of an octopus. A man at any point in time has the right to demand for his child, especially where that child is not in his custody. Due to all the plaintiff who has justifiable rights to demand for the custody of his child. From all the evidence adduced in this court and all the SB standards, everything points to the direction of the plaintiff as being the biological father of Daniel Atta. If there was any doubt at all, that doubt was erased by the result of the DNA test result, which proved conclusively to the fact that the plaintiff is the father of Daniel. However, the circumstances of this case appears different from many cases I have encountered as judge of the High Court for the past 15 years. It has been held in several celebrated cases and under the Matrimonial Causes Act of 1973, the United Nations as well as the African Union Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child that the welfare of the child is paramount before any decision can be taken. In this present case, the welfare of the child is of utmost importance. The defendant, Mr. Benjamin Atta, is the only father that Daniel Atta has known since birth. It is evident that the child has been very well taken care of by the defendant. The testimonies of the plaintiff leaves no doubt in the minds of the court that he is not fit to be a father to any young child. I hold, therefore, that the custody of the child remains with the defendant, Mr. Benjamin Atta. Oh God! I hold further that the police should arrest the plaintiff forthwith for prosecution in the appropriate court. With regards to rape and armed robbery, this is my judgment. The call shall rise. Call. anybody I know my stuff because they might burn it or something. Oh no. Look at this. This designer clothes are freaking expensive. That is why I take time myself to iron my clothes by myself, like I said. Hmm? Let's not forget. 
I hope you know how to iron. Hmm? Huh? Yes, because I'm very much particular about my my my, my, my future wife having this iron skills. Uh, because I deal in <laughs> designer labels, right? Did you get that? Yes, I did. But what you also forgot to tell me was that you were just arrogant and annoying. Can you explain to me why you found it necessary to feed me with lies about yourself? What did you just say? You heard me. I demand an explanation as to why you sent me someone else's photographs instead of yours. Oh, I have some prints here, just in case you want to deny it. I am sick and tired of your rubbish. I want answers and I want them right now. Oh, are these the pictures I sent to you? You know very well they are. Oh, and the person in those photographs does not, I repeat, does not remotely resemble you. Damn it! Why must I, I mean, why must I make such a silly mistake? Huh? This person is my other brother. Oh, damn. I must have folded wrong pictures to you. I'm so sorry, God, I'm sorry. Hmm? Silly mistake. Mm -hmm. Damn, hey, you go! What are you blowing water code for? I better look at my brother. Everyone tells me that, right? As a matter of fact, he's terribly jealous of me. You know, when we were much younger, we quarrel every now and then because he wanted to copy everything that I do. You know what I'm talking about, you know, doing. I know you can identify with that, you know, being a sibling. Doing. You know what I'm talking about? Sibling rivalries. They are not new to you, right? <laughs> so, let's hit the road, girl. Oh my God, damn. Damn. My old friends can't wait to see me then. Look, girl, even though you're going to be my wife, that does not mean you should take much of my time, right? Huh? Did you hear that? Jesus, I cannot believe this. I have heard of Jax, but this one certainly takes the cake. Oh, I must not forget to tell Abby. We have to do something on the dangers of internet dating on our next episode on Abby's Corner. Damn! Sometimes, I mean, are you an upset mother person? Damn, I love attention, and I don't want any attention to visit your wife. Turn that into your mouth, right? Huh? Let's go. Welcome to Tracy's. Uh, how may we help you? Hmm. How may we help you? I think I'm the one actually helping you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Okay, let me break it down to you, okay? I've been helping you out, or rather, should I say, your husband? <laughs> My God, you are. On the big side, aren't you? Woo! Now I can see why he keeps running to me all the time. <laughs> and you know Tyro. He's such a horse with a large appetite. <laughs> oh, please, don't bother losing weight. Just remain the way you are, okay? I just wanted to see for myself, face to face. And now I can understand why. <laughs> You know what, darling? Why don't you just give him the divorce he so badly needs? Because, frankly, you don't do him any justice at all. Okay? Now, you have a nice day. hasn't called. She's actually serious about this. Man, how could I have been so stupid to let her catch me like that? Now I'm short of funds. Even recharge card I can't buy. I mean, that used to be her duty. 
you know, buying me recharge cards. God, I'll kill that tire for busting my bubble. Messing around with my personal Mugo. Seems these Lagos babes are really wising up now. It's not going to be easy finding another Mugu, you know. In fact, I'll just swallow my pride and call her. I think I'll swallow my pride and call her. Damn. Damn. So, everything's set. Ready to eat. <laughs> mm. wow. Ready to eat. Mm. I'm quite confused here. I'm not sure which one to satisfy first. The hunger in my belly or the hunger in... <laughs> Your tummy, of course. Because the other one is certainly out of the question until my bride price is paid. And I am ready to pay that bride price right now. If you would only say yes. Are you proposing? Yes, it is. It would be the greatest honor if you would agree to be the mother of my children. Look, I don't have silver or gold. But I will give you my heart, my body and my soul for as long as I live, till death do us part. So... I am asking you, right here, right now, Abby, will you marry me? Please say something. And please don't say no, because I don't know if I could survive it. Uh, you don't have... Why don't you say anything? Because... Uh, because you, you leave me speechless. I love you, friend. Yes, I'll marry you. I'll marry you wherever, whenever you want it. It's over, Richmond, and I mean it. Yes. What? Richard Card? What? I, I can't believe this happened. Okay, fine. I, I'll, I'll send it to you. I said I'll text it to you, okay? So stop calling me. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Was it... Oh yeah, my, um, my ex-boyfriend, Richmond. I mean, why, why, why are some guys such weasels? Why are they hopeless? Look, things happen. But we're not going to let a guy like Richmond spoil our fun tonight, are we? Hmm? No. Besides, I have him to thank for letting go of the most wonderful girl in the world and making me a very Happy man. Come on. And that's what happened. You did 
did what? Are you out of your mind? Oh God. You slept with her husband. No, that was not enough. You went ahead to run insults on her. Girl, don't you want to get married someday? Jesus. Listen, hmm? Those housewives, they are very good with prayers. In fact, they are perfect with prayers. <laughs> Angela, no go make the woman begin robokobo shaba for your head, though. No go make her begin robokobo shaba for your head. I know they die. I know be prayer warrior. I don't talk my own finish. I just wanted to hurt him. I just wanted to hurt him. I wanted to hurt him the way he hurt me when he stopped taking my calls. And the only way I could do that was to confront his wife. You needed to have seen the way she looked at me. As if I was a lost dog. With pity. Me. Taiwo. Do you know how much he gave me? A miserable 1.8 million naira. What am I supposed to do with 1.8 million naira? What kind of car will I buy that will be befitting of my status? Oh God. You said his wife didn't be the word to you? She didn't say anything. And you need to see her. She's so fat. Just running around the place like that. She even looks better in pictures. Imagine him telling me you're not half the woman she is. Taiwo. Taiwo! Taiwo, it don't go better for you. God will punish you. you uh, shut up! Shut up! God does not answer that type of prayer. Okay? But tell me, what kind of car am I supposed to buy with 1.8 million naira? What kind of car? After everything Taiwo has put me through! Alice, is that something? He gave you something he didn't leave you without, did he? Listen, girlfriend, my sincere advice to you, straight from my heart, do not go back to that place again, please. Perfect. You said his wife didn't say a word. <laughs> Who knows what she has planned up off her sleeves? So please, back down that you still have the time. <laughs> back down now. Okay. So you say to the talks, but I'm telling you now, God is my witness. Single guy. Impeccable is the term I've heard applied to myself oh. occasionally. Oh. It's classier. Oh. Imagine the arrogance. Girl, if it's year 25, then 25 it is. <laughs> oh my god, this is so interesting. <sighs> but uh, how far for you now? Why are you going to go lie about your age? Like? We were chatting at the time. How do I know we're going to become friends? <laughs> eh? What about him? Eh? He lied about himself too. Imagine him sending me his brother's picture, claiming it was a mistake. <laughs> and he thinks I should just accept it like that. And the most annoying thing is the way he just assumes that I'm going to marry him, irrespective of what he looks like or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, he thinks he's God's gift to women. <laughs> oh my God! I can't get over this. I can't get over this, star. So when am I meeting him? Eh? Meet who? Where? How? <laughs> You're not meeting anybody because I know you. You never stop laughing about it. God, 
I can't believe how foolish I have been. Mm. My dear, this mm. internet dating is just nonsense. I told you! Well, not one word of I told you so. <laughs> okay, fine. Hmm. So when is he going back? Like, I, are you listening to me at all? <laughs> Maybe he's still around, I don't know. That guy has enough arrogance for 10 men. Mm. But he lacks for any size, he more than makes up for it in arrogance. <laughs> I hope we don't forget to include him in your research. Because this is a game of all games. You know what? This is the best talk show ever. This episode on games men play is gonna be too, too much. Oh my god, oh my god. You should laugh, laugh all you want, eh? Just laugh all you want. <gasps> Just pray it doesn't happen to you. Whatever, whatever, girl. <laughs> Where is Mr. Loverman this hot Saturday uh -uh. afternoon? No, 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 no. No, don't you dare change the subject. No, no, no. We're gonna talk about Peter the Block. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Seriously, girl. Seriously. We are not getting any younger, and more and more interesting men are not easy to come by. So I think you should just give this guy a chance, you know. Height or not, it's not the size that counts. It's the... Uh-oh. Okay. Fine. With that kind of look on your face, I think Frank is the safest subject for us to talk about. <laughs> yes. You can say that again. Oh, honestly, Tara. Frank is God's gift to me, you know. He's for real. You know, he appreciates me. He respects me. And to cap it all, he loves what I do. Really? Mm -hmm. Then Frank it is. Yeah. So no more rich man. Who's there? Why are you smiling man? Who's that person on the phone? Oh, I really appreciate what you guys face. I mean, those of you in front of a camera in the entertainment industry, music, movies, you know, actresses, you know, having to deal with your fans and your spouse's perception of what is really going on. You know, that was a problem I had with Frank initially, but you know, he's so cool with it. Oh. You know, and he makes great impute that only men with your interest at heart can only do. Oh. I'm totally, totally blown away. Oh. Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that we're feeling? <laughs> so this is goodbye to Richmond the Rat. Oh, you bet. Good readings to bad rubbish. Good for you, girl. I am so happy for you. Mm. Forget about how miserable me I'm feeling right now, but I'm so, so happy for you. Yeah. But let's just try and keep our relationships out of the front pages of those newspapers. You know, Tara, I don't discuss my relationships. So right about now, they can write all they want to write about. I don't care because this part of here is so much in love. Uh, uh, this is serious. This is serious. Uh, this is serious. Uh, this is serious. Uh, this Excuse me, Abby, I'd like to have a word with you. Um, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll just no, 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 please don't go. Everything he has to say has to be said here and now. I don't want you to leave, please. It's okay, it's okay. I'll just be waiting over there, okay? Okay. Yes, Richmond, what do you want? Abby, I want you back in my life, you know, where you belong. And I want you to go straight to hell where you belong. What an opening line. I want you to come back into my life, Abby, where you belong. Is that what you came here to tell me? Now let me tell you something, Richmond. It is not enough for you to want something, but only if you deserve that thing. And boy, you don't deserve me, okay? And as a matter of fact, you don't deserve anything good in your life. Okay now. Okay, Abby, you win. Abby, you win. I'm ready to commit, okay? Abby, I'm ready to marry you. What the hell is wrong with you? I, Richmond, wants to marry you. What is wrong with you? Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you've always wanted? Yeah! Yeah, I know all this drama is just because you want both of us to go to the altar, right? I surrender. I will marry you. Abby, yes! I will marry you. Fine! At some point, I thought I couldn't get anything better. But you see, Richmond, I was wrong. As a matter of fact, Richmond, I am too good for your kind. I have moved and I think you should do the same, okay? See you around! Abby, Abby. You're not going to walk away after four years, are you? 
four years of nothing but heartache? Four years of nothing but me paying into the emotional bank and you doing nothing but withdrawing? Look, Richmond, it is over. And it's going to stay that way. I've found someone who appreciates the real woman in me and I'm just going to spend the rest of my life loving him. Have a good life. Abby, I'm talking to you, goddammit. What is wrong with you? What? How can I say I'm sorry when you can't even listen to me? What's wrong with you? Let go of my hand, Richmond. I will Richmond. not let go of this hand till you listen to me. The lady says let go of her hand. Who are you? Who are you? Now you shut up and you piss off, okay? Wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, guess so. Now, mister, I'm trying to have a healthy conversation with my fiance. So you go straight to hell and do me this favor. Remain there. Richmond, don't you dare talk to him in that tone, okay? In case you didn't hear me, I am through with this relationship, okay? And so you can just stop the insults. Stop it! Abby, I can see we can't have our healthy relationship with Mr. Potato Head here. I've come by the house. Abby, I'm a changed man. So am I, Richmond. We were changed. Bye. Abby, it's not over, okay? It's not over. It's not over. Abby, I own you, okay? Abby, you're mine. If I can't have you, nobody will. Come here in the first place. Huh? You don't want to allow me to sample the goods I want to buy. And mind you, you don't expect me to walk you down the altar without knowing whether you can perform or not. <laughs> <laughs> if I can perform, sweetheart, I can perform. But the question is, can you perform? What kind of silly question is that? You're asking me whether I can perform? <laughs> Look at this girl. If you have a test of this body, blame me, girl. You always love for it. Really? Well, Peter, I don't think this whole bloody game of yours is working out. <laughs> okay, okay. Huh? Don't worry, I don't disturb you again. So if you don't want it, no problem. I'm, I'm off to work. Everything. Did you see that? <laughs> There's some things a girl can compromise. But some things are no-go areas. Imagine the arrogance. That is if you can even. I have better things to do. You need to arrest this situation expeditiously. There's just no way about it. Yeah. I'm sure Tracy will have an idea where she is. Please, Ty will help me find out from her. I've looked all over for her. I've been to her mother's place, she's not there. I've been to her brother's place, she's not there either. I don't know what else to do. Uh, okay, leave it to me. I I'm sure Tracy should know something. I'll find out. Okay? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Listen now. Ben, I don't mean to pry, but um, we're old friends. I just want to know, did you really ask Jacob to do something The case like is closed. Ty will listen. I would like it to remain like that, please. Yes. There! Girl! What do you mean by that? You know we're supposed to be 
get out together. And he kept me waiting, 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 waiting. I, I had to take a cab to this place. But you know what? He was to tell us I don't run after chicks because it ruins my money prowess. But for you, girl, man, I could cross the ocean. I don't mind. Firstly, my name is Tara, not girl. Secondly, I would rather you jump straight into the ocean instead of crossing it. Lastly, I would prefer to date the old-fashioned way. So get out of my sight. I don't ever want to see you again. Egocentric jerk. Hey, girl! Are you ditching me? A lot of you, man. Do you want to be missing if you let me go? Huh? Let's take a bit, man. I'm the best thing that ever lies in your doorway. <laughs> oh God, let's take a bit, like I said. Come on, kid. Huh? Lisa! Lisa! Stay with me! I feel all the way from East Texas, United States of America, to rescue the helpless pizza of a girl like her. And she's giving me attitude. Damn, nonsense. Good, I can't. Women, you could be naughty sometimes. I don't. anything from you, ranging from your late night comments to your cheating. But what I will not have is being insulted in my office, right in presence of my workers, by your idiot of a mistress, who I must say has bananas for queen. I have had it with you, Tyler. It is obvious you don't have respect for me as your wife. But don't, don't start that, okay? Please, I'm Don't tired. tell me what to say, because I have been the one who together for as long as I can remember. Yet, what do I get? You passing as patience on my looks. On whatever that does not please you. Do you discuss me with your mistress? Well, when you have the urge to do that, remember you weren't like this when I married you. I am the one who takes care. I am the one who makes this a home. I am the one who has to have the children. I'm the one who has who fights to get back into shape. I am also the 21st century woman who knows that the Bible calls her a helper. Who has done everything the Bible instructed her to do. Is this not a union? What is going on? Are we not supposed to be in this together? I can't find you. I can't find you. Just, what you need to do is to calm down. Let's talk to intelligent people and everything will be fine. Just calm down, okay? I'm sorry. Baby. I'm sorry. That's it. That is it. Everything is back to normal because you see your son. Wait, 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 it's not going to happen anymore. I, I, I don't know what happened in the office. I, I, don't, I don't want to know. I'm only giving you my word right now, right here, that it will not ever repeat itself. It's not going to happen anymore, I promise you. I, I didn't mean to hurt you like this. You just give me another chance. I, I'll make it up to you every step of the way. Every step. Just trust me and, and listen to me, please. Okay, I, I know you've heard this before. I know. I'm sorry. Look at me, I'm sorry. Baby, look at me, I'm sorry. 
You people sure do have guts. You, you think kissing me would just make everything all right? I have tried so hard, so hard to ignore your indiscretions, but this, this sure takes the cake. I am very upset with you, Taiwo, and I am not going to pretend about it. not enough for you to promise to put an end to this. See to it that you do. Because when something of this nature happens again, do not blame me for what I will do. and go back home. I know what Ben did was wrong, but he is sorry. And you know he loves you very much. He is almost out of his mind with worry. He calls me every day to, to beg you to come home. Tracy, I will eventually go back home, but I still need some time. I need to come to terms with what Ben did to me. I mean, how can he claim he loves me, yet plot such an evil against me? How? Is that the meaning of love? My sister, it is difficult to tell how a man's mind works. Look at Taiwo now. See the insult I received the other day from one silly girl he was sleeping with. See the, the, the things we have to pull up with all in the name of marriage? I have pondered. And I have come to the realization that there is no such thing as easy marriage. It only takes the grace of God. So, go home and, yes, me. every marriage has its bad moment. You just had yours. Make it your last. Go home and have this sorted out. Go home. Tracy, let him sweat more for what he made me go through. Can you imagine the trauma I've been through? Can you? <sighs> to think I'm still saying I'm shocked. Truly. <sighs> However, I'm glad it's all over. <sighs> if I'm going back to Ben, that means we have to start afresh. We'll probably relocate go somewhere else because I wouldn't have Chica come out of jail to revisit the case because I can't stand it. I can't. And that is the end of our research on games men play. I hope you enjoyed doing it with me as much as I enjoyed doing it. Well, now you know. As for my love life, I'm still single and seriously searching. I know that there's a man out there for me, and I intend to find him. As for what I feel for my sister sometimes, envy. Yes, I envy her. Who wouldn't if you were still single? Envy is not jealousy. Hello. If you're still single and ready for a fresh start, I am at the street called Hala. Hala me. Tara. Guys, are we set? Camaro one, are you ready? Two, are you ready? Sure. Presenter, is everything okay? Yes. We're going in five seconds. VCR, one, two, three, four, five, action. And just as frustrated as they were when you just become aware of their existence. If and when a man doesn't measure, 
you must take an immediate action because you only have one life to live and the clock is ticking. Chances are that you may be worried that your boyfriend might have a fling or probably seen someone else. But there's a new kind of infidelity that you probably haven't noticed yet. These days, more and more people are getting involved into so many relationships at the same time. They are looking for the emotional connection of a relationship, but they can't or won't choose between partners. According to experts, dating polygamists could technically be labeled as sociopaths. The lengths that they go to lie and manipulate without any real sense of guilt indicates a social dysfunction. You cannot open the door to every creep that comes knocking. You can chase after men who aren't worth catching. And of course, you shouldn't fight over them. But no matter what happens in your relationship, falling down and getting back up again is part of life. Remember, you are responsible for your happiness. There is nobody out there that is necessary to complete you. Look at this girl. Is she actually using me as a case study? And people will listen to this sorry excuse of a live show. I mean, Abby is actually using me as a material for a show. Can, can you imagine that? Now, by pursuing your dreams with passion, you can automatically attract a man who is pursuing his dreams with passion. An enlightened, inspiring man who can only appreciate the real you. Anyway, that's by the way. Well, until I come your way again next week, this was Games Men Play with Abby Davis and Abby's Corner. Until then, bye for now. I hope I'm doing the right thing going for this wedding. Why should I? Is it really wise? In fact, I'm not going again. Wow, look at you. Ooh, I can see you all dressed and ready for the wedding. I came here so we could go there together as a couple. You don't want your ex-girlfriend thinking that you're there to woo her or that you're still holding the touch for her. So I came in as a messiah to save you from the ugly situation. What do you think? I gotta get in. What's with the suitcase? <sighs> oh, I'm staying the whole weekend. You see, we will need the entire weekend to make up. Another thing, sweetie, I'm writing my project. And you promised to fund it for me? <laughs> Thank God things have gotten better, guy. I saw you right. You have a good eye. I'll be elements now, moi moi. Mm? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about that when we get back from the wedding. But I gotta go inside. Okay. No, Tyo, you amaze me. Do I? I thought you said you'd rather date a monkey than date me. So tell me, whatever happened to the monkeys? <laughs> Did I say that? Oh God! Anyway, the monkeys are dead. You haven't heard? There was a fire disaster in the forest, and all the monkeys died. <laughs> Look, I am so excited. You know why? Because my biggest rival is getting married too. Not a man, and that leaves you open for me and me alone. That is, if you don't go chasing the chief bridesmaid as usual. As what usual. are you? Hey, hmm. <laughs> gotta get inside now. So, sweetie, let's go cruising. We are going to paint the entire wedding way.
Lord. I'm out of jail. <laughs> Just come down. Now tell me, who caught the oil? Is this useless nonsense to be gay? Madam, don't insult her. Hey! Stop insulting hey, her. Hey, hey, hey. You couldn't be no, nonsense. No, 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 no. What can you do? You do? What can 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 you do? I said it's okay. You couldn't be nonsense. It's okay. Stop this, please. Stop. Me. Me. Stop. Me. Stop, please. Hey. Okay. I am dead. Now, Nim, tell me. How much is the oil? It's 2,000 naira. 2,000 naira? Yes. Go it's back! Martin. I said go back! It's go back. Martin! Go back. 2,000 naira! 2,000 naira, right? No, no, she's sniffing now! She's sniffing! Oh, she's can, can you listen to me? I said it's okay! Ah. 2,000 naira, right? Yes. 2,000? Yes. 2,000? Yes. yes. She's sniffing! No, say, next thing you might have you. Don't give it her 2,000 dollars. Don't give it her 2,000 dollars. Okay. She's sleeping. Now, you might have you. Well, it's okay. Stop. This is 1,000. 2,000. Now, take. Ah. Oh, come on. Go, start going. No, no, no. Just keep going. Go, go, go. No, no. Go, go. Next time you might have you. You can go. Yeah, yeah, you go. Go, go. Go, go. You don't shame me. You don't shame me. I will not shame me. I will beat you very well. Don't shame me. Don't shame me. Don't me. No, you don't shame me. I'm telling you. It's okay. You don't have to shadow her, okay? Please. You just have to go. All she needs. Please don't hold her. And I want to let you know all she needs is care and love. Okay? Why are you giving her to thousand Why are you giving her to thousand naira? Why are you giving her to thousand naira? I got a message. not around. She went to see someone. What is it? You can't believe this. I met this fool, this, this idiot, really? on my way. When she poured someone's oil. And instead of her to apologize, she was there changing words with the person. This, this idiot. Leave me, leave me, oh. Tell her to leave me, oh. Tell her to leave me, oh. Okay, Ru. If not for the one good Samaritan that made the payment today, I don't know what that for. I don't just know. I don't know. Hey, Sinachi. Hey? Why did you behave that way now, eh? 